Underground RuneScape services are something I've covered a lot in the past, as you probably all know pretty well. Things like fire cape selling, infernal capes, and so on. Things like this have been happening for just about forever, but they were mostly hidden deep in underground RuneScape sites where the average player couldn't access them. Over the last few months, that's changed. There's now discords devoted to having other players pretty much do anything you could ever want on your account, but you'd be surprised how they managed to get away with it. So I'm not going to say the names of any of these servers as I'd like to not promote them the best I can. I'm not recommending you join any of these or use any of their services, especially because despite how 100% safe they are, they're just not, but we'll get to that later. I've seen a lot of these discords advertised at the Grand Exchange over the past few months, but never bothered to actually join one until this Reddit post hit the front page this morning. How is this still allowed? Game is losing all its integrity and the limits are only being pushed further. The title is a good point. How is the service where someone else logs into your account and basically plays everything in the game for you allowed? Well, it's actually done through a pretty clever loophole. So account sharing is technically against the game rules. You're not supposed to share your account with anyone because, for one example, should an issue ever come up where ownership of the account is contested, it's almost impossible for Jagex to decide whose account it really is. That being said, this rule isn't actually enforced. Multiple Jmods in the past have said that they don't enforce the rule and X mod Matt K has said that they've never actually banned anyone for account sharing. Really the only service Jagex has outright banned and actively enforces is the buying and selling of infernal capes. When it comes to players training each other's accounts, as long as there's no real money involved or high scores competition, Jagex has never seemed to take any action against those players. A good example of this is probably near the end of Twisted League when everyone was trying to get to the last cup. Anyway, this entire market is a grey area because it's filled with conflicting information and statements from multiple Jagex sources. At the end of the day, account sharing is against the game terms of service, but even players who openly share their accounts really don't get punished. So where do we go from here? These services exist and claim to be completely safe, yet they break Jagex's terms of service and despite what they say, put your account at risk. At the end of the day, you're still supplying your account to a complete stranger. I don't really care how much these account trainers are vetted. In reality, your account is in a way being used as a gold farming account. So let's think about it. You want 99 Hunter, so you pay someone to do Herbivore. At current prices, it'll cost you around 150k per kill, not including the herbs that you'd get to keep. The worker does 100 kills for you, costing 15 million GP. Where does that gold actually go? In reality, we don't really know, but there is a decent chance that at least some of that gold is being real world traded. Because, let's face it, when a lot of these discords are making billions a day, they kind of run out of in-game items to buy. Now, the best part about this for these gold farmers is they're taking absolutely no risk. They're earning money using your account, trading it off to an alt that is essentially worthless, and at the very worst, their level 3 alt gets banned. It's pretty much the perfect way to gold farm. Lastly, there are some accusations of Jagex moderator involvement. As far as I'm aware, there's no actual proof of that at the moment. Is it possible? Sure, but really at the worst they've cracked some jokes and I can't seem to find any of them in the actual service discords, just ones loosely related to them. A lot of the old school team also says that they're simply content developers and it's not necessarily their job to seek out and punish these players. Which I do partially agree with, but at the same time I do know some of the old school staff actually has actively seeked out rule breakers and banned them. An example of this would be infernal capes, ragging other players, and the whole situation with Emily a couple years back where people were harassing her on stream. Anyway, I'm gonna give my personal opinion here. If someone wants to help out a friend with a few quests, I don't really see it as a big issue. But when it's turned into a profitable business that potentially indirectly supports real world trading, that's where I think it should be bannable. Not to mention Jagex in the past has taken Iron Man integrity very seriously. They've de-ironed players under the reason of not following the spirit of the game mode. An Iron Man paying someone to get them Corporal Beast kills is definitely not within the spirit of the game mode when other Iron Men originally got banned for trading runes between their accounts using shops. Anyway, what's your personal opinion on this? A lot of this is still very new info and the Jagex team is currently reviewing this thread, so we'll have to wait and see what happens in the coming weeks. I'd also like to interview some of the people that work in this industry, so hopefully keep your eye out for that. I will see you in the next video.